And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today I will be talking about 2D arrays. I won't really be doing anything with them, but I will be talking about them. Because I feel like it's a good idea. Now we already know how a normal array works. It's just basically sort of squares with like numbers or words inside of them or you know it doesn't really matter but it's things inside of them basically we've already covered what arrays are now 2d arrays are slightly different now imagine an array with rows and columns then here we can say for example um, day of the week is like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday now we can split that up and here, hmm. uh, and here we can like say uh, how like the class names like let's say it's twelve a we just excuse my handwriting or eight b or whatnot you know so then we can say a now this is basically two D array now let's say this is the register class input so. Every day for this week, they checked up how many kids there are in this class. So this would be its own little bit of an array. This would be, but this is all one array. Now this might look very complicated, but it can be very easy. So let's say on day one, class A, they had 30 people coming to school. Then on day two, class A only had 28. Day three, they had 30. Two, day four they had 31 and day five they had 25 because you know everyone wants an extra long weekend then on day one monday class b they had their 40 kids that they have in class they were had a full class that day and then it went down to 38 and then the next day there was also only 38 kids in class and then it was 40 and then there was uh, 39 and so on you know so this can also have a number this kind of number this kind of number this kind of number this kind of number and so on with all of these as well but this is basically a 2d array it has two dimensions to it for example it has a bunch of which which are these or these these are columns i think and these are rows i'm unsure but basically they have two types of things here. Instead of one, where it would just be straight up and it would have, you know, just its normal squares like two, four, nine. You know, that's a normal array. We don't want normal arrays here. Now, this is basically an array within an array. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but we'll be getting into this in the next video and then you can see for yourself how this works and how you can use this. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and we'll be tuning in for the next video so we can talk more about this. Because this is really difficult to explain, but it will be much easier just to show you. See you all in the next video.